Hello, Internet! I have exciting news to share today. Hope you guys are all having a good holiday. It's been a long time since I've been able to sit down and just talk with you all. Well, I have something really cool planned. It's actually a thing I've already done before, so ta-da! It's the thing you already saw on the title and the, the description of the video before you clicked on it. Anyway, I'm going to be doing requests for episodes of playing with myself again. This time, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. Now that I've finally passed that big hurdle of episode 100 in playing with myself, there's a new post on the Patreon page right here where you can scroll down and leave a comment below on this thing if you're a Patreon member of any tier and basically select any video game that you want for me to review in an upcoming episode of Playing With Myself. Every single patron is gonna get a chance to do this. I don't even have a time frame for when this is gonna end. If 2,000 people do this, I'm making 2,000 Patreon pick episodes, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. And it doesn't matter, like I said, if you jump into the dollar tier or you're in the dollar tier and you can honestly pay as much as you want in there because the other tiers for Patreon require me to live stream stuff which because of the baby and my time situation, I can't really do anymore. However, with my job kind of falling out from underneath me recently, if you heard in a recent uh, vlog video, they let go of me from work because I'm autistic and they don't want to work with me. Yes, that's illegal, and yeah, they're supposed to do something about that in this country, but off topic. But still, money is really hard right now, it, especially in the holiday season. We don't have anything. Kim and I haven't been able to buy gifts for each other in years, and this year is no exception. We have, like, so little we can barely eat. Any amount in Patreon helps us out a ton, and it really does keep this video series going. I'm not kidding. It actually does. I know a lot of people probably say that online, but I promise you here, it does. We are broke. So any amount, it really helps us out a ton. And hopefully I'm able to give back to you guys enough by letting you do something this big. Just imagine some other big YouTuber doing this. They probably charge you like a hundred dollars at least to do something like this, but we're not like that here. I want to hear what you guys want to see. And I'm here to just shut up and make it. Now, I've also got a link on here because you can't just pick any old video game that you want me to review. There's there's some that I haven't played before, and it would be a little weird if I tried to review it and I haven't played it. There's a link right here to my video game resume, and this guy has a lot of content on it. I've actually showed you this before, but there is so much more now. I want to quickly run through this just so that everything's clear. First of all, you can see that it's kind of like a Google Sheet document. Well, it, it is. It's not kind of one, you idiot. And uh, the first page here is just how to read it, and I've got some basic information of what the columns are going to mean when we come up in the actual segments below, and just some general information just to keep my head straight so I can calculate how long I've played on certain consoles or what my favorite game on each console was. And then down here, the tabs will actually show you. So this is the NES. You can scroll through this. Everything has their box art. It says how long I've played them, if I've beaten the game or not. And then there's a lot of them on here that might say like they're on my backlog or, you know, there's a question mark or I haven't really played it very long. Avoid games like that, even if it's one you really like. There are tons and tons and tons of game in here. So there's Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. There's also some Sega CD games thrown in there too. Um, N64, there's tons of these. I have the GameCube library, the Wii, and this is just the Nintendo stuff. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, DS, 3DS, Switch is enormous of a library. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, 3, 4, PSP, Atari, basically all of it, arcade stuff even, and PC. This is enormous. This even goes back to some of the things that I played when I was a kid. There's so much in here that you guys can choose from. There's even a couple that I have on MSX. If there's anything that has more than one on its console, then I put them in here. So this is mobile. And then I throw the rest into other if there's just not enough for me to do it. Actually, Sega CD is thrown back in here. My bad. I guess uh, it's, I didn't have another one for CD, but whatever. Anyway, that's how this works. You can basically run through all of these. I don't want to make this video too terribly, terribly long, but that's basically how you're able to get through this and see which games I've played. I try to update this all the time so that I, like when I play a game or just dabble in one, I try and record it and it, it makes it more interesting, you know, for like me is like trying to catalog everything that I've played so I can remember all these things because my memory is awful, but also just so that I can go back and see everything that I've played all in one place. It's really cool. I'd recommend you try and do this. But if you're going to pick one of these, like I said, so say you went over here and you're like, Alex, you like Balloon Fight. Play Balloon Fight. I've not... I don't know if there really is campaign or completion, but still, but short enough game, whatever. Say you really like Balloon Fight. You go over here and you'll just type that into that comment, like, Balloon Fight! And if you want your name to be thanked in the video as anything other than the name that your Patreon account is going to be called, also put that in your comment so that I can, you know, make sure that I thank you properly. You'll know that I saw your comment if I respond to you. I'm not going to just let you wonder for months on end if something, if you're going to get your video or not. I will respond to you and let you know that I put you in the list. And that's another 
another thing. I'm gonna be putting these in a list. There's gonna be an order to them. So I'm generally gonna be doing this in the order that I get the um, requests in, but some things might come up. One of them might be like a really great April Fool's video and I'll throw that in like either early or hold it off till later to do that. Um, so that kind of stuff does happen. Last time when I did the Patreon picks, Zach's episode choice for Super Castlevania 4, that ended up being our Halloween episode. So I kind of scooted it around so that would work out. So that kind of stuff does happen. I will let you know generally when it's going to be showing up and um, that's about it. I thank you guys so much for helping us out with these and I hope that we have a bunch of these coming up very soon. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next video. Boop.